say the progression in the team has been pretty much like up and down. We had a lot of high highs being in like third, fourth. But now, I mean, now we're just kind of trying to figure ourselves out, try to see where we can place if we get better with our new addition or we're just gonna keep on being the same or if we get worse. So it's kind of hard to tell how this year's been going. The boot camp was pretty productive. I would say we got to get a lot of reps in on maps that we didn't play as much beforehand. We also talked about a few situations we were able to review pretty efficiently. There was a lot, it was a very like serious tone. We woke up like on a normal schedule, like every day, ate like the same thing every day. <laughs> like everything was pretty consistent and we were just able to get a lot done in that short amount of time. Today is the first game for us against Renegades in the new Legends stage, and I'm hoping it'll be a good game, so let's cheer on for the hashtag energy fam. And because you've come through like from the minor over to this now into the new Legends stage, do you feel like there's a slight disadvantage at all that you've shown more than what the other teams are freshly coming into it? But like I said before, just we're just going to make sure that we take each game individually, make sure we prep well and uh, go into each game with confidence. Great connection from Cirque. What was that? Through the doors on Azza. And another one. Jay Greasy, however, on long. Tarek's going to be forced forward by the Flames and wow. converted by Grat. Two there, though. On towards the ramp. Liaz, he's got it all to do. Cirque post course with the orb. It's not the best weapon for the job. Jake yes, could open this up. He doesn't. Just the one. And Liaz, he falls after one himself. The Mag 7. It's, not, it's got the jumping accuracy. It's all the pieces of the puzzle are there, but he has to convert the Norwegian. He's oh. been so good, he tagged them. Oh no, the spread just got in his favor. And NRG, they do find their first win of the legend stage. Oh, right down to the wire, Daddy. Congratulations, Peter. You guys win this game. And it was it was a victory, but it definitely got a little bit dicey towards the end there. Yeah, we had a great first half, and then second half, we just couldn't get rolling. I think the uh, two days off really kind of hurt our momentum a bit, but yeah, we, I'm just happy we closed it out. Yeah, against Renegades, it was very sloppy from us after watching it back. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes early on in the half, which allowed them to come back. But then we always knew once uh, we would eventually get that round that we needed because, like I said before, just it was very sloppy. Like, I think one round we were going up long, and we both threw the same smoke so we couldn't cross properly. That's a huge gun round, and then our economy was just in the toilet the whole time. We managed to win two eco rounds, which was huge, but I still think like that game was kind of an anomaly. First of all, it's a best of one, and then, um, yeah, we just played very sloppy in the beginning. So once the, once the game went on, we just kind of calmed down a bit and cleaned it up. And coming back into matches has actually been one of our biggest problems. But lately, it feels like we've been we've been fighting every match down and winning it in the end. So I think it's a good sign, especially going into the champion stage. So um, yeah, I'm excited, and I think we're gonna do very well. I'm gonna be playing Team Liquid today. Uh, yeah. And he's <laughs> and they clash. <laughs> he's gonna interrupt like 50 times. Let's go somewhere else. Of all the maps you can pick, it's not a bad one if you're an RG. You, you, even the odds to some degree, but you're gonna need big performances. This is where it comes to the, the skill matchup, though, right? Because if this does become a brawl and it turns into, you know, Liquid going for long rushes against Breeze, anchoring down Pit, this is where you get like really exciting rounds coming our way. So I'm hyped for this one. I think we might get the yelling match between the two players. You highlighted Stewie and Tarek going back and forth with each other. That would be kind of fun to see. We know how hyped they were, certainly, when they were on the team. Together, is there any chance for energy, guys? Definitely. Oh, I definitely think there's a chance. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's all about humanity. Manny something to run out here for the NRG side, but it's Cirque with the opening frag. He's out of position. That's round possible. He's doing another one now. Suck. He's going to look so damn easy. So damn close quarters. What on earth? Oh, gee, that was about to get difficult for them. Twists. He did a sensational job of finding back into the side, but Cirque, he just shrugs it off. Well, yeah. He's gonna have to try and find a very ridiculous headshot, but now Ethan does exactly that. Oh. Two, three! Ethan! Unreal the with bomb. the 5-7. We talk about the pistol. Two from very different angles. Stan will finish it. 
and NRG, that is going to energize them. My God. Punished, however, it's going to be the first contact. He's flashed off. We'll have an opportunity to catch some on the cross. Swiss gone. Stewie wants to try and catch another. Sir, just keep doing it. Two down and two frags away from NRG taking Liquid down a notch Live. in this battle. Two very close quarters. He's going to have an opportunity to a stand. They've done it. And they've done it without seeing Liquid find 10. NRG, that is quite the statement to the rest of the teams in attendance. Yeah, absolutely. And we speculated at the start. Will Cirque be able to show up against the world's number one? He absolutely does. He looks fantastic there. Some great sequences. It just felt like the mood from your team was so strong. The momentum kept going in your favor. And despite them winning both pistols, you guys kept winning the force by situation. So talk to us about what the mentality was like throughout that entire map. Yeah, I mean, we told ourselves that we'd stay positive no matter what, and I think that's really important. And also the hype that we were building throughout the match, especially in the beginning, we had a lot of momentum, and I think that was key for us to win this game. Um, so, yeah, I'm just happy that we sort of carried through with that game plan of staying positive and just going on with the hype. One more and then we're legend. Yeah, I think the win over Liquid was definitely sick just because they've beat us in the past, and we definitely wanted to get revenge on them from those couple of times they've beat us. And um, we, I think we kind of rattled them a little bit because they struggled after that against Avangar. Um, but once they got into the BO3s, they turned things around, so props to them. But um, I think it was a good one for us. I think it was a big confidence booster and uh, definitely helped us uh, going into our next match. Yeah, beating Liquid definitely helped, like confidence-wise. Uh, especially since that was, I think that was the match that brought us into the BO3s. It's so, like that was our last BO1. So. Definitely helps getting them out of the way. We just knew like we beat the best team here, so any other match should be easier, hopefully. Where are we going? Uh, we're going somewhere? Let's go, Matrix, check it out, see if we get in. Let's go. Let's go. I don't, yeah, get out. <laughs> I know I can <laughs> get in, that's the best part. It's actually Dude, that's insane. It's 140. Let's go. You want a scooter? You want to walk around? Yeah, not scooter through the water over there. I'm down. Not a scooter around. Not a scooter while I follow you guys. We scrimmed up the Stralis just a few times. Obviously, we don't want to scrim teams at the major too much to familiarize ourselves with them. But uh, yeah, same thing as I've always said before against Liquid and other teams, like we're just confident against anybody. And going into each game, especially after the Liquid game, we had full confidence and we're just very prepared and we just feel calm going into each game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, hey, we're shooting great though. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. <laughs> Feeling good. It's gonna be easy. Easy 2 0. Easy 2 0. Okay, just gang up on him. He's alone on the bomb side for a little while longer. And Stan wants to go for the fight. He turns Ooh. around. What a turnaround. Goes for the kill three. And now it's on Meg. He's trying to see if he can recover, but Stan will shut them all down. I'm trying to and see if they can end this map right here, right now. So. Covering for the flank. Tarek down on the low ground. Another kill for Cirque. Make it a triple. And now Tarek, not been a great map for him either. And he's going to be going down, leaving it all up to Cirque. And no one defusing the bomb yet. He sees one up. Oh. He flicks. He gets the kill. Now a quad. Can he save it? Can he get the double? He's so. You've got to be kidding me. He takes down every single one. An absolutely magnificent play. In close with the M4. I don't think they know that he's this close to the bomb side. He's looking the wrong way. And he's going to get shot down. Are they going to do it after all? Dropping down. And there it is. Quad overtime as Breeze barely saves them. What a ridiculous and round. The level of creativity, the level of play to bring down a team like Astralis. Well, NRG, they apparently do have it. Glaive will <laughs> drop to Tarek and now Device, they're just throwing all the grenades. He goes down and make us get a one versus five. This has been an absolutely titanic match so far. And NRG somehow through five overtimes and all of regulations summon the strength to d bring down Astralis and that means that we're going to end up on Nuke for the second map here at a best of three. What a great game. That's amazing from the NRG guys and a taste of Astralis' own medicine. An unexpected nade stack. Dupree just gets wiped out. Getting the headshot there as he's falling back. That was, that was really close, wasn't it? There's only so long you can chase Zipnix down like that before he's going to get the upper hand. Magisk as well adds one more onto it. Stanislaw needs that kill and he's got it. Two on two. Zipnix though, double kill and still alive. He just goes down. It's Dupree. So far away. He's had two kills in this map so far. And he's going to find a perfect position. It's Stanislaw has delivered all game long. 22 and 6. The final headshot to seal it.
backing up for it. And now there's really no way to get to this lower bomb site. Breeze has him cut off. All the long routes are available to him, but that's going to allow the plant to come down. And Breeze is going to get an easy one. This, this, on the other hand, is something you really don't see very often, where Astralis are the ones looking confused about exactly what's going on, and some parts of it look like they didn't even know who was defending what. It's a one on four here. NRG with a fantastic best of three against Astralis. They're going to take them down on the second map. New 16 to 14, and NRG are going to be in the playoffs here at the start at a Berlin Major, and they well deserve it. That's, this was fantastic. I've got to say, I'm so hyped about Stan playing. I mean, the rest of the team too, but... His, his level was amazing for this one. It really was. If that keeps up, this is going to be a tough team to beat. And perhaps the best I think we've seen NRG look. How did that feel? It's good. First major, first time major legends. Feels pretty good. <laughs> pretty satisfied? Yeah, I might have to blur that out, but <laughs> it's, it's pretty satisfi satisfying. For sure. We all kept composed. It's pretty good. Hope we keep it up and uh, hopefully make the champion final stage. Tapping first time? Yeah. It was awesome, man. After a boot camp, I feel like we were like really prepped and everything, so I'm just proud to play it off. We gotta celebrate, right? We yeah. got a few days off, so we gotta celebrate. Um, back to work. <laughs> gotta grind a little more, make sure we get to that final stage. Yeah. How's it feel? It feels f good, dog. Time to f***ing relax. What are you gonna do with your days off? Party. Party, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, everyone had heroics during that game. And that was a huge part of why we won it because there's a lot of clutches and there's a lot of individual like 3Ks or 4Ks that came into play. And uh, it was super like exhausting that game, just like mentally because it was such a long game. And there's so many rounds where like one team could have ended it and the other team brought it back. And it was just really back and forth. So uh, it was really stressful. I'm just glad we closed it in the end because after that match, like we were all just like, you know, just like we used so much energy in that game. Like we used everything in it. Um, but I'm just really impressed by us being able to reset and come into the next match and show such a dominating performance. I think we won the next game like 16-14. So that was like really cool for us to do. Uh, it also showed that they couldn't really get their feet back into the game after that long game. And for us being a young team, to be able to do that is a uh, you know, really good sign. What's going on? What's, what's, what's the problem you're having? I don't know what's to be, dog. How you feeling? How, how are you feeling right now? Feeling great. Like, let's go to the hotel, go back to bed. Yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, that's us again. Wait, that's us again. Wait, that's not us. Wait, that's us losing. <laughs> this is epic. What's the circle? Let's go from home away to. I'm gonna audio for a Wait, this is us. That's us. Wait, what? Bro, this was so annoying. Wow, we watched that. I was like, holy. Wait, that's us again. session and the fans can get this wicked awesome poster and get our signatures and meet us. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> say that. You don't have to say that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, I hope you will win this major. We hope the same, dog. Same. <laughs> can you get my daddy's down there? Can you get my daddy's down there? There you go. Thank you very much. Problem wrong. Thanks.
the first one is honestly so confusing to me, right? Because we have energy, this team full of young players that are definitely going to be around for years to come versus Navi, you know? They're the veterans. They've been here before. So it's kind of experience versus who's hot and in form right now. Energy by far the hottest team right now in this event. And the other game, obviously, is probably everyone's guess for like the one in two teams in the world. Meeting the Entering this bomb site, two more players hiding in the site. Now there's just one. Freeze against Electronic, and he's going to save the day with that Krieg. But that could have been. Accuracy is very good, and with Flamey down low, maybe there's a chance for a big swing from Stan. Can he find it with this MP9 trying to tease out the perfect spot there? Finds the one versus one. Oh, this what makes it happen. The MP9 is absolutely sick. <laughs> And a lot of players going through a choke point. Ethan starts well. There's a crossfire to deal with. He doesn't know where the fires are coming from. Three CTs here now. A search in the market. And this is a decimation. Literally the last man standing. Last man to fall. And that is a very solid pistol round from NRG. Want to go towards Van again, but that's aborted. We've got Cirque here as well. Simple takes one in the face. Five versus two, five versus one. This is a kind of round that NRG need. Victimization of Navi and surviving in the numbers. They will all survive. Only Tarek taking damage. That is exactly the round that Play NRG. here. Maybe that's it. Takes down Electronic. Quick flashbang through the window. We see a rotation from Simple. Creeping on short, but he's missed his one Doesn't know where Flamey is, but he may soon find out. Straight into the crosshair and four NRG players spots one, but he's got so much more to do. 20 seconds, NRG need not peek. He has to plant a bomb, let alone find these players. 15 seconds, he's on the window again. No one needs to peek. It only gets worse, and it's a 2-0 for NRG. They've taken the series versus Na'Vi. NRG into the semi-finals. What a match it was, going from strength to strength. Really showing some great form on that. It just seems like NRG, there's just too much. The brute force approach from them was something that was very impressive. I think few teams in this tournament can, can really hold a candle to. At the moment, NRG might be looking like the best team in this tournament. Maybe there is a question to be asked by the teams to come later on. But for now, what a performance from NRG. Here reporting on day two of the quarterfinals from the Berlin Major, and I'm so chuffed that I've got Tarek with me because he was clearly the MVP of that quarterfinal against Navi. First of all, Tarek, how does it feel to be a semi finalist? Uh, it feels great. I'm really proud of my teammates. Uh, we all pulled through and we all had moments of brilliance throughout that match and series. So, um, huge shout out to them and also shout out to all the fans that cheered for us because they really pushed us through in that series. and currently no kid has been picked up they need to find a way to get these kills and get on that bomb very quickly and now it's all falling apart oh, no! oh my lord that can't possibly be real that bomb not even planted right now 10 seconds left and play fighting close he doesn't even make it off the train Straight for the plan just hoping for the money he's completely surrounded and shut down Terry with a triple kill he used to get out otherwise i don't think this is going to be possible at all breeze walking right into it and the trial is winning map number one Taking down NRG on train. Well, like, since he's gonna be waiting out the molly, you can also wait out the molly and then just walk push late. Okay, if, so if, there, if there's no one short, if there's no one monster, then they're all short? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually like four more. I mean, I'll know because I always do the anti and I'll know. Yeah. It's time for map two, semi final number two. Let's jump in. Counter nades, and that's exactly. NRG has just proven his point right here. They've slowed down this hit, and Astralis has already used so many of their own nades. What more do they have to move forward? It's spectacular on train, continuing it here. And it's only a matter of time for Device. NRG, two rounds in a row in the deep. Jump, Glaive survives. Now they're gonna try and run him down, but the counter flash is pretty good. Breeze, oh, what an opening. He has to do everything in this game. It's well played. 
from NRG, but again... Into the grenade, Ethan is absolutely gone. And now it's a one-on-two with 10 seconds, Zerk running in, he's flashed, and he is absolutely gone! Astralis now in the grand finals here in the... Chet, the journey that NRG has had in just the last few months has been nothing short of magical. You guys fought all the way from that minor all the way to the semifinals today, dropping only a single map in the process. And even if your road stops here at the major, there's so much to be proud of and so much to take away. Yeah, I mean, I'm just super proud of my teammates. Obviously, our goal was to make top eight, and we did it. But I think everyone wanted just a little bit more just because we got so much momentum. But Honestly, everyone should be happy that we made it this far and that this is just the first step for like a bright future. Yeah, I feel like we're completely different now. We play a nice slow style and we're mixing up a lot. And I just think with more time, we'll have more results and we'll be lifting trophies as soon. Last words for the fans who have been cheering nonstop right behind you. Honestly, you guys are crazy. Honestly, I've never had this much support and you guys are great. Keep it up. Give it up one last time for NRG!